on the next episode of Mrs. Pigman Down on the Farm. Yeah! Hi friends, it's Mrs. Speakman here with our next video to make sure you know that I love you and I miss you very much. And we have next somebody that is very important on the farm. You might not know it, but our cat here serves a very important role. She is the one that catches all of the mice that like to get into the coop and get into the chicken enclosure, no, the duck enclosure, and we'll get into the feed that we store in the garage for all of the animals. So this is El Gato. When we got her, she was a very sweet, friendly kitten. And we didn't need a sweet kitten. We needed a cold-blooded mouse killer. So we named her El Gato. It means the cat in Spanish, and it just sounded fierce. Bye, kitty. And she is now gone. <laughs> the mice were making tunnels under the ground and into the coop and stealing the feed. And they were making tunnels into the duck enclosure and stealing the feed and just making a mess. And it's one of those tunnels into the coop that let the weasel get in one night. A weasel can get in the size, a hole the size of a quarter. So it went in through one of those tunnels and it wiped out my entire flock of 20 chickens in one night. So we tried everything we could think of to get rid of those mice. We tried mothballs. We tried some mint stuff that's supposed to keep them away. But then we just had mice with minty fresh breath. And finally, after trying all kinds of things, I just said, I'm getting a cat. So my friend that has a huge farm and has lots of barn cats brought us over a cat. And El Gato has been with us ever since. And she likes to bring us presents. Sometimes in the morning, we'll step out of the house and right onto a mouse that she has brought us. She gets mice about uh, twice a week at least. And she'll also catch moles. She likes to eat the mice, but she will not eat the moles. But the moles make lots of holes in the yard. And then when I come out with my hands full, I fall in a hole. So I'm glad she's getting rid of the moles too. But they must not taste very good because she doesn't eat them. All right, so that is El Gato, our coop cat, a very important part of our family here. All right, my reading challenge for you today. I put the word cat on one of our old cookie sheets. What can you do with the word cat? We talk a lot at school about there, rhyming words and word families. So cat, can you turn cat into hat? Or maybe rat? or fat, or bat, mat, sat, pat. I don't have any magnetic letters here. I took them all to school because my kids got bigger. So I am using post-it notes. So what can you use at home? Maybe you have magnet letters and a cookie sheet or something else. See if you could take the word cat. How many words can you make with it? All right, Josie. And my math challenge for you. I found two hula hoops in the basement that were part of an old Halloween costume. And since it's Wednesday, if we were at school, we would be doing a sort. So can you help mom sort the laundry? Maybe you could use boxes or containers or anything you have at home. I have found these hula hoops. Can you sort maybe socks? You could do your socks and your sister's socks or plain socks and socks with fancy patterns on them, maybe t-shirts and sweatshirts. What kind of laundry can you sort to help mom out? After you sort it, then maybe you can help mom fold it and put it away. So thanks everybody.